Hi guys, I am Ali. Back here again with a new video. In this video, I am gonna tell you more about functions since it is my fourth video of the functions raised in Python. In my previous video, I have told you the basic structure, some types of arguments as well. If you haven't seen that, please see this that before this video so you will be clear in your concept regarding the functions since they are very important to use. Now the topic of today's video is default value parameters. We have already known what are parameters and what are arguments in function. Now I'm going to tell you what are default value parameters in the function. Before going to our practical platform, I just want to tell you what they are actually. So moving on to the next slide. Now, what is the purpose? We all know that parameters are those variables which we use while defining the function inside the parenthesis and the value of they are them are given through the arguments while calling the function. It is all clear. Hope so. Now, what default parameters do are is that, for example, incidentally, we forgot to give the value in the arguments while calling the function or we want to write a program so in which we don't want to give every time the arguments value. So we set the value inside the parenthesis while defining the function. It means we have to set the value of parameters at the time while we are defining the function. So in that case when we doesn't give the value of argument it will use the value which we have already given to it. So this was the main concept of default value parameters in functions. Now I have given you the concept theoretically. Now I'm going to perform it practically in our platform that is PyCharm. Here it is. Now I'm taking a simple sort of function in which I'm going to have two parameters n1 and n2. Now and then in the body of function I'm going to have the print then I want to add both of them so I'm giving n1 plus n2 now while calling the function I have to write add and then the n and then now the argument that are 5 and for example 4 now this is the simple concept of function but since we are doing default value parameters what is the difference in it the difference is for example I forgot to give the value of n2 here then n1 is equal to 4 and then I doesn't give it the value of n2 what happens it will crash here you can go yes it is missing one required argument that is n2 so here comes the usage of default value parameters now I am here giving n2 the value of 5 while also I am giving n1 the value of 9. Now I have given the n to the value. What happens now is it will work. Here you go. It has given 9 as it added the 5 from n2 using the default value parameters and n1 is equal to 4. Now you, you, now you came to know that in the same, same time we are not giving the argument value but still the function works why because we have used the default value parameter but one thing you are noticing here is it doesn't use the n1 equal to 9 here in my example why it happens because in default value parameters it will use the value of default just when we will not give it to the value of argument whenever we give the argument value then it will use the argument value only in the case in which we didn't give it the argument value it will use the default parameter value but here you go now one thing more that I want to show you is for example if you want to have the default parameter at first position in the parameters but what happens it is showing me the error so it is a very important thing to know that you must have the default value of parameter at the last position while setting up the parameters now i'm going to have n2 is equal to 5 now you will see one thing more now it doesn't show me error now since we have put the default parameter in the 
last position so it will work again here you can go it is again giving me 9 so friend this was my today's concept of the default value parameter that is very important for, uh, especially in the complex programming where we have the chances of error being made by the user or the programmer so default pre parameter prevents us from the malfunctioning our program so this is very important to, for you people to know this was my fourth video i will have some more videos regarding the function after then i will jump up to the new topic so if you haven't watched that videos of my previous which i have made for you then please watch them also and if you haven't liked this video please like this video now share my videos as well and especially especially subscribe my channel by hitting the bell icon now my channel is tech park will meet you again in more videos friend this is all from now thank you